Um, so I did a quick little 23 second video on Instagram. Ray Miss Sigmund, um, I think that's how you say her name. She did a great little um, video too, and it kind of gave me the idea to do this. Um, so what this is is how I've tried to. Um, organize right because we all have paper coming out of our eyes um tried to organize the bits and bobs of papers and scraps and inky papers and things that i just don't want to throw away because um you know a lot of them are just great ways to start a background specifically it all started with my under paper they're in very large pieces so i cut them down so what i did was i just took <clears throat> You could organize these in many ways. I kind of did them by type. So like this is under paper. So what I just simply did is I cut my big sheet of under paper down because this is newsprint or either um, shipping packaging stuff. And so I cut them into like sizes that would work that I could just glue down. And so I took each little piece of newsprint and just cut it down into usable size pieces and then I just put a um, paper clip on top of it or these are the mini um, little clothes pins so these are just scraps of bits um, I you know people were like well how did you organize you could do it any way you wanted to um, I just kind of did it with um, you know things that I thought would work well together so essentially what I'm doing is this is a Dollar Tree basket it's kind of hard to film it at this angle but this is a Dollar Tree basket and so inside of this is where they all are stored so you know this is newsprint again then I found um, this little piece of cardboard in manila um, that I've used so here is like just roughly random like smaller sizes <clears throat> tags scraps of jelly prints index cards um, so you could do, really do it any way you wanted to then as you get toward the back here um, with this one this one is like um, numbers and scrapbook um, kind of a neutral color some scrapbook bits journaling things so I don't really know that I went by and just said oh I want to organize it by this but my thought was I'm gonna take this stack of papers out I'm gonna flip through it and something is going to inspire me to um, move forward so you know maybe it's that I like this little bit right here and I want to use that on something um, then I think, what did I do with the, I've already been using it this way and I like it. So just pretty much the, the clip's going to hold it here. You're just going to be able to ruffle through, um, these papers and be able to go, that's a great background piece. I'm going to use that this morning. Then I also took like my, um, my deli papers. I use those to put my paints on and stuff and so then I kind of went this way and I did like black and white and then this one is kind of just a lot most of my papers are just messy bits then this is like two tags um, an envelope over here and then as I went <clears throat> went through the colors, when I got back here, I started doing more neutrals. So like my text papers, um, you know, like whatever, those are our receipts, I guess. Um, catalog, library catalog things, text papers. And the same with this one. This one's kind of a neutral. So if I knew that I needed a neutral piece, then I would grab towards the back of this. I also did a bundle with like tea stained um, papers. And then in the very, very back, okay, on the side, I've got all of these longer envelopes 
that I've kind of jelly print and stuff. And then in the very back here, let's do it this way. This is just a um, a bag that I haven't really got to, but it's like handwritten and neutral things. Um, the big, big maps that I haven't actually taken down or used any of it yet. Um, and then this morning I had the um, phone book that I was working with and I actually need to put these two in a piece that um, has color in it. But So I know if I need a neutral and then I put some tea stain fabric back here and then I have a stack of, again, handwritten and um, neutral palettes. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense. You know, whatever you want to kind of bundle them together with. Um, I think she used little um, binding clip things, but I didn't have enough to be able to use that. So my philosophy is use what you have. Don't go out and have to feel like you have to buy anything. I had this Dollar Tree um, basket. I'm sure you have something, a shoe box you can keep them in. Bundle them in and then you can just flip through them and it kind of keeps them a little more organized than just loose sheets of paper. So I hope this inspires you today to get in your studios, organize that stuff, ladies and guys, if I have any guy viewers. Um, so you can get in there, make a great, fantastic painty art, and have a blast. Thanks, guys, for joining me. And if you're not a subscriber, why the heck not? Click my head up there somewhere. There's an I card. I figured out how to do that. And um, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me the thumbs up. Leave me a, a message. If there's something you want to see from me, then um, let me know. I've had several requests here recently, so y'all are going to keep me busy. And um, this is just one of them. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Have a great one. Bye-bye.